Hello everybody. Good morning or good evening. It depends when you are going to watch this video. I missed you. I know I didn't I didn't do any videos lately, <clears throat> but I was kind of busy, okay? Yeah. Um before we start I would love to tell everybody, ask me about something happening around the world these days, which is um, kind of a little bit scary for young people and the parents. Please do not be afraid because you are safe if you do not try to go somewhere not good or um, be with not good people. So listen to your parents, young people, please, <clears throat> and grandparents. Um, listen to your family. Do not trust the strangers, okay? That's it. And you will be safe. The main thing is I do not trust the strangers. That's the very important part, okay? Yeah, nothing will be harming you or bad to you if you are listening to your parents and grandparents and the family and do not trust strangers, okay? Yeah, let's see who studied or who practiced what we had before. Uh, we had, of course, talked about um, C major scale or Do major scale. And uh, we know how to read it on triple clef. Today, we're going to start to know the other clef we need to study for piano and some singing, of course, and some different um, an instrument using the bass clef. Let's start and see what is the bass clef. Bass clef is written on the fourth line from the bottom. Okay, I go from, I have here one, two, three, four, five. As we know that I have five lines. I go to the fourth line, one, two, three, four. By the way, usually we read music from down to up, okay? Because some students came from um, another teachers, they took some lessons, but they are confused from where I start to read, especially when I'm having chords. Anyway, I read music from the bottom. Okay, down, then up. Anyway, um, one, two, three, four. And I will put a point here on the fourth line and go up, 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 and go down. Okay? This is, we call it bass clef. Okay? This is bass clef. Bass clef is the one I usually use my left hand on that with the piano. Okay, when I'm playing piano, I usually have two lines, one for the right hand, one for the left hand. So the left hand usually for the bass clef. Okay, now if I say this is... Oh, sorry. <laughs> if I say this is F, okay, I wrote it from the fourth line, then the fourth line, the name of it, F, or Fa, okay? In some countries in Europe, okay, they call it also F 
what's going on here today? Sorry. <laughs> they call it F or Fa Clef. Okay? Then we have the fourth line is F or Fa. Okay? Then here, if I go and put it again here, and we said this is F or Fa, okay? Then after Fa or after F, I say G or Sol, right? Yeah. Before F or Fa, I say E, right? Or Mi. Then I know the F. I know what after F. I know what before F. If I go down from the E, I will find the third line. It will be D or ray, right? If I go down more, the space will be C or DO. Yeah. Now I know F I go down, E I go down, ray I go down, DO. Then C, D, E, F, great, or DO, RE, ME, FA. Now I went up from the F, then it's a G or SOL, right? If I go more up from the G, then this line will be A or la great i'm gonna go more up i will have in the top of the five lines it will be yeah b or t lovely if i go more up gonna be yeah C or do wonderful then I will know the same of the C scale or do scale but in the bass clef okay then I have if I know this the fourth line is the F or fa then i can start to count from there i go down it's a e i go down it's the d i go down it's a c okay i go up from the f it's a g i go up more it's a a i go up more it's a b i go up more it's a c somebody gonna ask me this is look the same like the c on the triple clef that's true that's true because it's the same c this is the same c okay this is the middle c i have to tell you this is the middle right but in the base clef i write it in the top okay in the triple clef it's in before all the five lines. Let me show you with a very easy way, okay? To know where is the middle C, okay? Here. I have here the triple clef. I have to put the middle C. Here we go. This is middle C. Okay, from middle C, I go up here, D, 
E F G A B C, right? From this C, the same C, I will go down to B A G F E D C. You see, this is the same C. This is the middle C. Middle C. Outdoor. Okay? I go up. It's a ray or D. D or ray. This is E or me. Great. This is F or fa. This is G or sol. This is A or la. This is T. Sorry, let me put B first. <laughs> Sorry. This is B or T, right? This is C or do. Great. If I go down, okay, this is the bass clef. This is B or T. This is A or La. This is G or yeah, Sol. This is F or Fa. This is E or me. This is D or Re. This is C or Do. Okay? Wonderful. Okay, let me tell you. This is the C, the middle C on the piano. Okay? I go up. Okay? Here, the C, if I can show you here, okay, here, remember, we said this is the middle C, okay, then how can I know the other C and D and E and the other place? This is the middle C, I go D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Then I back. B, A, G, F, E, D, C. Or do, re, mi, fa, so, fa. T, do, T. Yes. La, so, fa, mi, re, do. Wonderful. Okay. If I am here... And I went up there. Then I go down now. Okay. Then this is the middle C. Okay. And this is B, A, G, F, E, D, C. Then this octave in the middle piano and this octave, just the octave before. What is octave? Octave from C to C is octave. Okay? It's eight notes. Okay? From the C to C, eight notes. If I say from this C to this C, this is another octave, but it's in the bass, in there. Okay? Then if I say, where is this C, then I count from the middle C and I go B, A, G, F, E, D, C. Then I start from this C, okay? Then C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, or Do, Re, Mi, Fa, so, la, ti, do. Then I know now how I can play the C major scale from 
the bass clef. Okay? Then try to know the bass clef and where it is in the piano. And we're going to start to know some more next time to know how to play some chords yes chords with the notes and or with the song i gave you the other day okay then now we know the bass clef okay and we know how to read it and again from the middle c i can go down to find the other C on the bass clef, okay? Then, if I play it for you, or, no, you can play it by yourself, and I'm going to play it for you next time, okay? I hope you understand the bass clef now, and you will know how to take <laughs> how to play the bass clef and how to play the triple clef. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Now, I would love to uh, see you more. I'm going to see you soon. Uh, I will not be late like that time. Um, but again, I was so busy. So... Next time, we will learn more about the bass clef and how I play it with the triple clef. Okay? Yeah. Now, I'm going to say... Oops, you see everything? I'm sorry about that. It wasn't clear here. I'm sorry. That's better? Mm -hmm. Okay. Better? No. Not really. Right? Yeah, to see everything, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, better, all right, 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 yeah, here, not very good, right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay, um, I will see you next time, and I hope you understand more about the bass clef, and I will try to be um, soon, I will not be late like now, this time, okay? Yeah, I love you, and see you soon. I hope you subscribe to see all the classes I'm doing, okay? Love you, bye.